Thank you.
Will you please rise? No, we supposed to... okay. May we all bow our heads and pray. Lord God Almighty, our creator, we come in agreement with you, your plans, your divine will, and your intentions for this 2021 graduating class of our Marty Independent School District, as well as for our families, our friends, our neighbors, and our Marlin community. We say yes, Lord, to your will, and yes, Lord, to your way, and lead us with sweet Holy Spirit in the path of righteousness, holiness, and truth. We do realize and understand, Lord Jesus, that you are the word and you are the spirit of the truth. And without you, we can do nothing. But with you, we can do with all things. The impossible becomes possible with you. Help us, Lord, to keep hopes high, alive, and in our hearts, as well as submit our will to your will and follow you. Lord God Almighty, Keep us from all evil, all hurt, and keep this graduating class in your palm of your mighty hands. Help them, guide them, and help us all to remember that you are always present with us. Our hope is in you. Thank you, Lord, for your love, your mercy, and grace. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for loving us. We pray all things in Jesus' name and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
we will now have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one indivisible. Next. Yes, you may be seated. Good evening. Trustees, honored guests, faculty and staff, family and friends, and graduates of the great class of 2021. Welcome to the Marlin High School 2021 commencement ceremony. As class vice president, I extend my warmest congratulations to my classmates receiving our diplomas this evening. To all family and friends in attendance, watching virtually, or present in spirit. Thank you for your support along this amazing journey. Thank you for everyone. Ooh, I'm my fault. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for the encouragement and for many sacrifices you have endured so that we may achieve this goal. Classmates, please take a moment to acknowledge those who supported you. Through all the obstacles and challenges we faced, we made it. Again, welcome. I'd also like to welcome all of our parents, all of our relatives of these graduates. And this time I'd like to recognize some special guests with us this evening, our mayor, Carolyn Lofton. Our city manager, Cedric Davis. And any councilman happened to be here. Thank you all for coming, I'm sorry. At this time, Ms. Henderson will be introducing our speaker. I'll use this one. Good evening. To the Board of Trustees, our distinguished honored guests, our executive cabinet, graduates, family, friends, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you our guest speaker for tonight. I'm honored to introduce Dr. Daryl Henson, who currently serves as a superintendent of schools for Marlin ISD. Dr. Henson is a believer that all students can be successful when teacher, parents, and the students work together. Throughout the years, Dr. Henson has been regarded for his passion and vibrant personality as he has built lasting relationships with students and communities across, the, across Texas. Dr. Henson firmly believes that Culture, curriculum, and community are the pillars of establishing and maintaining a thriving school system. Prior to joining Marlin ISD, Dr. Henson served as the Assistant Superintendent of School Leadership in Cedar Hill. As Assistant Superintendent, he was responsible for overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of district campus employees and all 7,000 students across 14 campuses. Dr. Henson is naturally, uh, is naturally recognized as a nas nationally recognized principal who led notable turnaround efforts in North Forest, in Houston and Parkland, in Yuseta, with other 
principal experiences along the way in elementary and middle school. Dr. Henson earned a bachelor's degree in elementary education from the University of Texas at Austin's a master's degree in educational leadership and policies from the University of Texas at Arlington and his doctoral degree in curriculum and instruction from the University of Houston. It is my distinct honor again to bring to the podium Dr. Daryl Henson. Good evening and tonight is definitely a joyous occasion. Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2021. My name is Daryl Henson and I am your proud superintendent. Before I begin, I would like to thank and honor our board of managers, board president, Mr. Billy Johnson, <laughs> board vice president, Mr. Danny Vickers in his absence, and board secretary, Mrs. Berlin Terry. And of course, I would like to thank our Marlins students, parents, and community for allowing me the opportunity to serve this year as your superintendent. Already, baby. What a year to be a Marlin Bulldog. To the class of 2021, in the midst of a global pandemic, social injustice, snow, and not having life's most basic necessity, water, our students and teachers still prevailed. Academically, we just received our results from the latest STAR and end of course assessments. And I am pleased to report tonight that as a district, Marlin ISD, hear me out, short, showed growth in more grade levels and subjects than declines. The class of 2021 and all future classes will benefit from our district having a focus on early childhood literacy, middle school mathematics, college, career, and military readiness, fine arts, and of course, athletics. Athletically, the class of 2021, let's be honest, led one of the most successful seasons in recent memory. Our football team made the playoffs, Boys and girls basketball were both undefeated district champions. Our soccer and volleyball programs continue to make great strides and big shout out to our boys and girls track and field teams for not only competing, but winning at the district, area, regional and state meets. So as I began to reflect on what I was gonna to share tonight, my heart kept drawing me to the many conversations and life lessons taught to me by my grandmothers as well as my personal journey. You see, it's so easy to see the finished product, the outcome, the final draft, but for every adult in this room, you have had to go through fires and ultimately lean on the lessons of your foundation to get you to, your, to the current chapter of your life. 19 years ago, like you all, I sat on this stage thinking I was grown, ready for someone to hurry up for the principal to slide me my paper so I can begin this journey called life. But little did I know how much I didn't know and how much I would have to lean on the knowledge of my foundation, where I am from, the prayers of my mother and grandmothers to get me through many days. Like most students now, I was overly emotional. I was quick to respond. I was quick to keep it real, keep it 100. And just as quick, I found out that keeping it 100 will keep you stagnant. There are two things in life that hurt you. And I shared this this morning with our class of 2021 as I kind of gave the prelude to tonight's speech. The two things that hurt us, our people, are our ego and our emotions. We have to understand that our ego and our emotions can hinder the greatness that is inside of us. How we respond, how we react, 
what we say at all times. I share with the class this morning. It's not about being a robot. It's about understanding your audience and knowing how to control your egos and your emotions to work for you. I also spoke on the importance of leaning on your elders. Because as a high school senior, some of you all might be a legal adult, but you are far from grown. There's a big difference behind being a legal adult and being grown. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't believe me, grab your Bible, grab your app and see what first Peter five, five says. Likewise, you who are younger be subject to the elders. Now, let me break this down for you real quick. It's not saying live the dream of your mama, live the dream of your uncle. It's not saying that their way is your way. But it's saying to listen to the wisdom and guidance as you continue to build your own personal foundation for your life. Now, my grandmothers and great aunt for whom I am standing here today and as I stand on their shoulders were strong women. I learned more by watching how they live than by what they said. So for tonight's message, I want to leave the class of 2021 with some of the lessons that I picked up from Hazel. Vera and Bessie. And you know, there's some old school names. <laughs> Hazel, Vera, and Bessie. Life lesson number one. And this might be for some of the adults in the room too. Choose your circle wisely. Now, 2 Corinthians 6, 4, and I'm not going to preach tonight, speaks about being unequally yoked. I call it stay away from people who will push you over the edge and then ask you how you fell off. See, I, I don't think that the class of 2021 truly, truly heard what I said. You see, in 2 Corinthians 6, 14, it speaks about being unequally yoked. But let's translate that to the new Marlin version. And it says stay away from the people who will push you over the edge and then ask you how you fell off. The friends and relationships that you choose are the most important decision you will make in your life. Who you hang out with, who your boo is, who you recreate with is going to have an impact a lot longer than 18 years on your life. You need friends who will encourage you speak life into you, but probably more importantly, hold you accountable because a lot of friends will talk behind your back, smile in your face, take more than give. But at the end of the day, if you choose your circle wisely, you have to understand that you now have your own personal village to lead and guide your life. Number two, let stuff go. Stop holding on to stuff from 2014. You still mad? What you mad about them crayons for? You mad about that shirt? Let it go. Stop stressing about people who are committed to misunderstanding you. I wish I would get upset about somebody who don't understand me. I'm Daryl Gerard Henson. Let it go. Like, do you realize how short life is? Think about when you blink, life is over with. I don't know how Kobe Bryant impacted you all, but I've always said to myself, life is extremely short. I will let things go. You never know when your time is up, when you'll be called to glory. So live every day to its fullest and let it go. Determine what is most important to you and protect that energy. For me personally, it's my two M's, my money and my mama. That's about the only thing that will get me out of character. And I'll go from Dr. Henson to Juby in a split second. So you could talk about me, let it go. Lie on me. They do a plenty here in Marlin. Let it go. Because you can only fool me once. And when someone shows you who they are, you better believe them. Number three, change is a part of life. So you better put on some Sam Cook or something because this is going to be tough for some of you all. A true champion can adapt to anything. We don't become stagnant and stuck in our ways. We have to understand that tradition can stand in the way of vision. I relate everything to the Marlin Independent School District. 
This year for the class of 2021 in our community was a year of change and flexibility. If we were to try and educate our scholars the same way that they were educated pre-pandemic, we couldn't clap for the growth that we saw this year. We had to change, we had to modify, we had to understand that in order to get something different, we had to move different, we had to act different, we had to feel different. Change is a part of life. And just like the pastor say, I'm getting ready to close. <laughs> Lastly, know who you are. I can only beg you to know who you are. Because when you know who you are, you won't fall for anything. When you know who you are, you will take responsibility for your own life. When you know who you are, you will have self-discipline and always take care of yourself on the inside and on the outside. When you know who you are, you will adapt, persevere, and be great. When you know who you are, you will not make excuses or take the easy way out. Hear me on this. When you know who you are, you will understand Romans 8, 28, and know that trouble don't last always and that joy comes in the morning. And when you know who you are, you will always believe in yourself and say, I am a Marlin Bulldog. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Our salutatorian address, well, I must make amends. Thank you, Dr. Henson, for introducing the board. It looks like I would have thought of that, but uh, Mr. Johnson, Ms. Terry, please forgive me. At this time, our salutatorian will come forward, please. Ms. Otavia Stewart. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> it is an honor to stand here before you today at one of the most historic events of our lives today. It has been a long time coming. I would like to thank everyone who played a part in helping us get to where we are today from the parents, principal, teachers, all faculty and staff. I was going to write this big fancy speech but decided to just be me. The same me who is standing before you as salutatorian right now. You know, I was born and raised in Marlin and even left for a little while when things got tough around here. I decided to come back because after all, this was my home. Many people counted us out and many people left, which I took no offense. But one thing I knew for sure, were the five, 10 or 15 students, I would be amongst the Marlin High School graduating class of 2021. <laughs> you see, this has only made us better and stronger than we were ever. This is how we know that there will be rooms out there with our names in it that we have not even entered yet. I wish all of you the best. Some of us will be going off to college while some may have other plans. Mark Cuban said it best. Success is about making your life a special version of uniqueness that fits who you are, not what others may want you to be. Because if you love what you do, I have no doubt that you will be successful. Our journey is not over as our lives are just beginning. It may not be easy, but I promise you, if you work hard and remain consistent, you will get to where you want to be. Look around, everyone. Thank you to our friends, family, and teachers, the ones who kept pushing us when we thought we could not do it, to the ones who stayed on us and kept us in line, to those parents that prayed and cried many days and nights, not knowing if they would get to see their child walk across the stage today. We thank you, and I quote, you know, people never want to be part of the process, but they want to be part of the outcome. See, the process is where you figure out who's worth being part of the outcome. Thank you to those being part of the process and never wavering. Congratulations, class of 2021, on one of the greatest accomplishments thus far. And we say to all of these who counted us now, look at us now, because obviously you could not count. Thank you. Thank you. 
So Tavia, thank you so much. Our valedictorian, Ms. Talia Walker. Welcome friends, family, teacher, and those who have helped me to get to where I am today. It is an honor to be standing before you on such a memorable occasion. I want to start by saying thank you to all my friends, family, my mama, Gigi, and most of all, my savior who is Jesus, Jesus Christ for helping me every step of the way. It has been an amazing journey and one that my fellow class of 2021 members will most likely never forget. Four years ago, the class of 2021 was just walking through the doors of Marlin High School. We have had many memories throughout our high school journey. We all had one goal in mind, and that was to make our mark on the school that we attended and make our mark in the world once we graduate. We all had different career choices, but we were all bound by the same common cause, and that was to graduate. We are your class of 2021, not just because we scooter our way past every year, but because we put in the hard work and the effort to get to where we are today. We could not have done that without the friends, family, and teacher constantly encouraging us to keep going, to keep up the good work. Not only are we the class of 2021, but we are the class of 2021 from Marlin High School. There has always been negativity surrounding our school. People has always down-talked our school, but our class has survived a lack of consistency, a global pandemic, a devastating winter storm that left many without power and water for days. And on top of that, the persistent rain that has kept us from having the traditional graduation we deserve at Legion Field. Our biggest accomplishment to date is that 35 out of 41 students have been accepted into a college, university, trade school, or selected career field. <laughs> and have created a plan for their life at the high school. Many of my classmates have been accepted into school for academics, and a select few for sports. This proves that Marlin is not a bad school and this shows exactly how much of a community we are. Regardless of where my fellow classmates end up, I know that we are all going somewhere. We have carried on through some difficult challenges that would have caused others to give up. We leaned on each other, our family, and our teachers for guidance. To be completely honest, I don't know how often we will see each other after today. But as your classmate and friend, I want you to always remember that you and you alone are the only person who can live like Live the life that you want. You are the only one that can write the story that you were meant to tell. I pray that the class of 2021 will walk out here today feeling proud of all we have accomplished over these last four years. And always remember, you are in charge of your life. No one else. Go out, live and learn, make mistakes, but also have fun. I'm thankful that I was able to be on this journey with all of you. And I know that all of us are destined for greatness. I love you guys and I wish nothing but the best for all of you. Will the members of class of 2021 please rise? <laughs> Dr. Henson, the Marlin High School senior class of 2021 has successfully fulfilled the course of study for graduation and set that is set forth by the Texas Education Agency and the Marlin Independent School District Board of Managers. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Marlin High School, I recommend that they be awarded their diplomas and be confirmed as graduates. Thank you. Yes, sir. You may move your test. <laughs> Let's give them a big hand. At this time, we'll have our benediction by Miss Ken. Oh, oh, diplomas. Do you think they came for diplomas? I almost forgot.
Talaya Angelique Lachey Walker. Satavia Ravanique Stewart. Jalea Lavelle Woodard. Charlesetta Lewis. Kenya Fritzy Scott. <laughs> Jaslyn Sinise Collins. <laughs> Isaiah Malik Davis. Talia Lahali Davis. <laughs> Sophia Rose Galicia. Patrick Lance Harrell, Jr. <laughs> Charles Edward Hayes, Jr. Kendra Ernice Hayes. <laughs> Avaya Simone Hearth. Hayden Lamar Johnson. Yeah, Amaya Nicole Johnson. Latravius Heath Johnson.
check to Miss Jessica. You know. Isaac Keyshawn Kelly. Viana Elaine Kredemeyer. Verlandria Trenice Lewis. Jason Allen Lujano. Yesenia Betzabeth Martinez. <laughs> Demarion De, Le De Leontre Mason. Yasmin Nicole Maxwell. <laughs> Luana Patrice Mays. Tide Cartez Mays. <laughs> Xavier Sean Nutt. Luis Fernando Perez. Clayton Lane Rochelle. Johan Rodriguez. Desiree Renee Salas. Brian Soto.
Renisha Renique Strickland. Jacarius Davion Tomlinson. Alejandro Antonio Vera. Mariana Faith Vera. Alicia Chasmere Washington. Travis Jormal Washington. Anaya Chanel Williams. <laughs> Kalia Zamari Nikel Williams. Tyrese Devonte Wilson. Omar Jaleon Womack. Now it's time for Kendra and the benediction. Kendra Scott. Hey, excuse me. Apologize. I can never forget. May everyone please stand. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord, I want to thank you for bringing everybody here this evening. I pray that you give everyone traveling grace, whether they came near or far. I pray that you wrap your arms around each and every one of my classmates, whether they're friends, foes, or frenemies. I love you all. I pray that you give them the strength and the courage to, per to persevere through any and every obstacle possible. I pray that you keep us out of harm's way and that you give us the strength to persevere through anything. No matter what it is, no matter what obstacle, don't cry. Hold your head up high. Stay strong all the time. I love y'all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let me see. Oh, they're playing. They're going. They're going. 
Okay, stay stay put. We're not through. We have a music from the Marlin High School band. Yes, y'all can. Oh, 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 you said the alma mater. You got to stand up there. They coming to do the alma mater. Thank you. 